Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great week. I am, um, been, I've been just busy, 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 and uh, really cannot wait until the weekend. <laughs> so I um, thought I'd pop on tonight and share a few things that I've received um, lately. Uh, first of all, I got this adorable card from Nancy Martinez. Nancy, thank you so much for your beautiful card. She used one of my stamps from Whippersnapper, which is the Easter Tin Tart. And uh, so, so cute of you to send me this card, Nancy. I absolutely love it. Your coloring is beautiful. I love how you did the uh, gray on the tart, on the uh, tin there. So very cute. And I love all the purples. So darling. And a cute little wooden button up here and some of that really fun cotton ribbon that I like so much. So thank you so much. She also... Um, decorated the inside. Isn't that cute? And the coloring on that carrot is just perfect. I love the depth that you got in that, Nancy. Gorgeous. And she uh, decorated the back as well. Cute little bunny. So cute. And she left me a note inside. So thank you so much, Nancy. I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm going to put it right in the envelope just like this, and now it will be up on display. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. What else did I get? Um, oh, remember that um, package I opened up the other day, and it had some yellow seam binding in it that I tea dyed using a vintage photo. Here is how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. So we've got a little yellow for April. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to using these two pieces on a project. That'll be really beautiful. So I think it turned out really nice. So I'm excited to have that. Um, I also picked up um, a few new to me things recently and they've come in. Um, I purchased this uh, silver black velvet brush in a number six and uh, I just really like this particular size. I'm really liking this brand of brushes. Uh, I've been using the eight, the number eight um, recently on some of my watercolor projects and um, it comes down to a really nice point uh, but I wanted something a little bit smaller so I picked up the six and then I also have the ten as well but I haven't used it yet uh, not on projects that you've seen anyways so there's the ten the eight and the six I don't know if you can see that the lighting is pretty off tonight so there's those and then I also picked up um, a new sketchbook um, let's see the one I picked up was this Delta series from Stillman and Burn and it is uh, 270 GSM paperweight it's not um, watercolor paper but it's a multimedia or a mixed media so it should be good for both Dret and Y media watercolor inks etc so it's not beautiful I think that's really beautiful so um, I picked this up and it has a really nice uh, black cover I've got lotion on my hands and so now it's a uh, putting my fingerprints on the cover, so I'll have to be careful not to touch the paper, but it's got really beautiful uh, paper inside, but I've never used this particular sketchbook before, so I thought I would pick it up and give it a try. And then I also picked up this one, um, Hanamule. Isn't this cover beautiful? Holy cow. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Um, and this has 400 GSM paper in it, so it's really, really heavy. And um, I think it might hold up what, um, nicely just to some watercolors that I want to do. So I picked up that one as well. And this one is a 6 by 9.8 inch journal. So I have a feeling it's 6.9, but with the binding here, they added a little bit extra. The other journal is also 6 by 9. And then I also picked up some new to me watercolors uh, from a new brand that I didn't have any uh, um, watercolor from yet. Uh, this is the Holbein Artist Watercolor. And uh, so I picked up the Naples Yellow, which is one of my favorite yellows in any paint line. Um, I got the Quinn Gold. 
and I also picked up uh, Quinn Scarlet and Rose Matter. And then I also got uh, Ultramarine Deep and Cerulean Blue. So I thought those might make a fun little starter palette for this uh, brand. And then I also picked up, uh, a f I'm not sure if it's Fome or, I, I think it's Fome. Um, anyway, I picked up a watercolor palette <laughs> and it's one of those <laughs> made in Italy. Uh, it comes with a little carrying bag. It's like, a, I don't know, faux suede type of fabric. And um, the art supply store here had it on sale. So um, This is a cute little thing. So this is what it looks like. And inside it holds 12 little half pans. Aren't they cute? And uh, they're held in place by this, um, there's two little um, bars that kind of snap into place like this. And there's, so there's this one that goes in between these two rows and then there's one here that goes in between these two rows. So you just, uh, once you've got your pans filled and in place, um, or you can fill them inside the pan, inside the case, you just uh, press, the, oops, press this down into place. And it holds all the little pans nice and sturdy. And then it's got two beautiful little mixing wells there. So, and then on the back, uh, it's got a little um, thumb ring or finger ring here. So if you want to hold your palette, um, you have something to hang on to it with. So I thought this little um, palette was just adorable. So I thought it'd be a really nice place to uh, start my um, Holbein watercolors. So I picked that up and then I think that's it actually. Oh, I have one other thing. Um, one other thing that came in. So I designed a new, like, um, not really like a business card, but it is a business card. More like a, like a I don't know, info card, I guess, uh, for myself. And um, thought I would share it with you because they arrived. So here's the card. And these are considered a jumbo sized um, business card. So they're actually um, two and a half by three. So there's the front. And it has my info there. <laughs> One of my favorite drawings of all those chickens. And then the back. I printed this guy on it. Isn't he adorable? So I think they turned out really, really nice. They're super glossy and they're really heavy duty like a playing card. So I think they turned out so cute. And I really love the color palette and the nice earth tone colors. So, hey, I was happy that those came in. So very cute. So that is it. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week. And um, like I mentioned earlier, I've just been really busy. Um, we all came through that storm earlier this week. Um, okay, there was lots of banging and clanging outside. The rocking chairs got blown off the porches and yeah, just lots of crap got blown around. But other than that, um, everything else is fine. So I've got more, um, more things to work on for that upcoming class I'm doing. That's taking me forever <laughs> to assemble all the product. Um, I will actually share the kit that I have put together um, once the class is complete. I'll share a video of me, um, of everything that was in the kit. And maybe you'll see why it's taking me so long to put them all together. <laughs> Um, but anyways, that's it. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of, rest of your night. And um, I will talk to you again soon. Bye.